Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So guys, today I'm going to show you how you can reuse these cookie containers. Now this was a container that was just lying around and you can see that it has already started to rust. So definitely it's of no use anymore. So rather than throwing this cookie box away, I thought that I'm going to quickly make an arrangement in it. Now guys, remember these kind of arrangements are temporary. But when I say temporary, it's not like it's going to be for three months or six months. Such arrangements can last for a year and above if they are taken good care of. Now such arrangements will work out really well for people who do not have a lot of space especially in putting out individual pots. So when you have a container like this you can put in a lot of succulents and that is going to save you a lot of space. But the most important thing we need to make drain holes because as you can see there are no drain holes in this container so we'll have to quickly put in some drain holes. Now always ensure whenever you're making drain holes always make them from inside out so that there are no obstructions inside the pot. Now I know you might say over the period of time this tin container will rust. Yes it will rust. It's absolutely fine. By then your succulents will grow big enough and it would be time to transplant them to another tin and by then you would definitely have another cookie box. Now over the period there are two benefits. One is that it is going to help uh, cover because I know how difficult it is to gather all those materials and then to make a proper soil mix. So when you tend to use these materials at the bottom to make a false bottom it tends to reduce the usage of soil mix. So once we are done with putting in the broken pot pieces it's now time to add in the soil. Now again my soil remains the same that is 80% of aquarium sand and 20% of filtered garden soil. Now I know you might not be able to see any traces of garden soil because it's very less it's only 20% because I prefer to keep my succulent soil mix very gritty. So that's the reason why you can see that uh, the succulent soil is very very grainy. So again, I have completely filled up my container with the succulent soil mix, the DIY succulent soil mix. So now it's time to start with the decor piece. So this is an old clay pot that uh, had a succulent in it and accidentally fell and broke. So rather than throwing it off, I'm going to be using this as a false pot in this container, which is going to be the part of this arrangement. So now let's try to bury this pot and you will be able to see what exactly I'm planning to do. So I'll quickly start start moving all the sand across and I'll try to fix this spot. Now this spot is going to act like the base for the entire arrangement. It's going to look like this uh, succulent arrangement is growing from inside this spot. So we're going to completely try to cover this up. We will bury the entire piece of this clay in sand. Now basically we want to make it look like the pot is intact but it is actually not intact. So we're going to try to cover all the cracks so that it doesn't look like it's a broken piece of pot. Now all of you guys who always wanted to know how an archaeologist feel, this is how you're going to feel. This is your moment. So take your brush and just start brushing off all the excess dust and all the excess sand that is present on the pot. So you basically want to make the pot look like it's still intact but it's not broken. So in case if you tend to see that there are any gaps or openings, you can just fill it with sand and just cover it up. So basically at the end of the day, this thing should look like it's an actual pot and it's not a broken piece of the pot. So that is the entire idea of this arrangement. So once you're completely done, once you feel that uh, the cracks are no longer visible or you do not see any edges of the pot, it's now time to go ahead and put in some of the succulents. Now guys, it completely depends upon you whichever type of succulents you want to use. But always remember, the succulents that you tend to use in your arrangement should have the same requirements in terms of watering and sunlight. So obviously this uh, kind of arrangement is going to be put out in morning direct sunlight. So I'm not going to be using any kind of Havartias in this arrangement. It's basically going to be a mix of uh, Graptoverias, Echoverias and Sedums. So while I'm arranging this, I will just give you a little bit more details about this arrangement. As I said, this arrangement is not a permanent arrangement because over the period of time, uh, there's going to be wear and tear of this uh, metal container and it will slowly start to rust. But again, guys, when the rust happens, there are going to be small holes, which is absolutely fine. That is going to help more in the drainage. And we have used these uh, clay pots at the bottom of uh, the container. So that is going to reduce any soil flowing out of the pot. So, 
so that won't be much of an issue but again these kind of arrangements are going to last for a year even more than a year because again we do not keep our succulents out in the rain so obviously if this container was kept out in the rain it is going to get rusted faster as compared to if it's kept in shade or if it's kept away from rain so definitely the rate of this box getting deteriorated is going to be quite less as compared to if you would have used this for some other plants now we cannot deny the fact that the box will the container will get uh, rusted but again by then you will be having another container and even by then the succulents most of them will also tend to grow slightly bigger and it would be time to move them now guys what i can suggest is always try to go for smaller succulents you can see there is only one large succulents all the other succulents are really really small so it won't be much of an hassle they would be getting enough space for them to grow right now they are quite small probably uh, by the time this box tends to uh, fall apart these are going to be at least two or three inches uh, bigger than what they are actually now so it would be time to move them so guys this is how the entire arrangement looks like you can see it was pretty simple not much of a an hassle and apart from that the best thing about this arrangement is there was so much of things that we have recycled which otherwise would have gone in waste so i'm sure by the end of the day you might have saved a lot of space and apart from that you might have also saved a lot of waste which would have otherwise been thrown as trash so guys i hope that you liked this video if you did please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating